good morning. Let's get on with another Monday. Three lessons, things I learned. Something like that this week. The first one is the first two are kind of, well, I don't want to say anything. Uh, the first one is kind of practically to, for this kind of SaaS business process that I'm following, is that after you go from, after you get an idea for a problem to solve, rather than build a mock landing page, is to build an MVP that actually works, that actually like solves the core problem. I learned this um, from starting to read Peter Level's Indie Maker Handbook. And first chapter was on ideas, generating ideas. Second chapter was on building an MVP. And the third chapter is on launching your MVP. And I literally stopped after the second chapter and I was like, well, I guess it's time to build an MVP. What I was, I was, the, what would you say, the process that I was following before this was building a landing page and then I was going to like do a whole bunch of cold reach outs and see how many people like signed up. I was going to put like an email sign up. Um, on my landing page, but like the, the, it like didn't do anything. It was just like a landing page with a whole bunch of, co you know, copy about like what the vision is kind of thing, the hitting at the pain point and the solution. Um, and then seeing how many people sign up. But I think I like this better. Uh, one, because, well, I get to solve my own problem, literally. Um, but second, like you actually have something valuable to share rather than, you know, when you say like, join our early access, it's like, eh, unless it's, unless the, the customer is like, unless you're solving like a really painful problem, it feels kind of meh, you know? And so I'd rather have actually have something actually valuable to share. And I was thinking like, I feel like because he has also given the advice of building like landing pages for validation. And I think the difference becomes if you have an audience or not, or if you have money to run, run paid ads, basically if you have a way to get a lot of attention really quickly, because if you can get attention really quickly, then you can just spend a couple hours, throw up a landing page, immediately get like, I don't know, 5,000 visitors and then see how many people convert from that. But if you're like me and don't have access to 5,000 uh, qualified people immediately, I would either have to run a whole bunch of ads, and that, I mean, it could work, but it's an option, or just build something and then start reaching out to people. So that's where I'm at. That's, where, that's, that's the, the mindset shift that I learned. The second one is kind of on the coding theme is to, well, I'll get really specific and then I'll go general. Really specific is to remind myself that I'm building an MVP and that I like need to ship something. Like continually reminding myself that basically every day, like, okay. Do I, do I optimize this or like what do I do next to get this MVP out the door? 
Um, and I'll generalize that to like continue to remind yourself of the goal. So like whatever you're going for, like remind yourself of that end goal because like you can get sidetracked really easily. And the example or story I want to tell for this one is I started out this, uh, I won't give the context, it's okay. I started out this algorithm to try to pull out both, like, um, is it tokens? No, it's keywords. Yeah, so it looked at all the keywords in the comments uh, of the text, and I did like a, a uh, what was it, keyword count or something, like looking for the, the highest frequency keywords. I also ran it through this like topical algorithm something to look for like themes. And so I was, I was doing that alongside trying to also look for questions and like direct questions and direct requests. And I was, I was building this like keyword and topical algorithm, which I think would be helpful, but it's not exactly the, doesn't exactly hit at the, the core problem that I'm trying to solve. And I just wasn't really getting the, the right results from like my initial kind of spike. And I was like, ah, you know, it's gonna take me a long time to like get right. And I was like, ah, but like, what I really, what I really want to do, is is get questions and requests and and be able to extract those. And I think I can do that better. And so I made this like mini pivot this past week. I recognized this. And I was like, ah, it's going to take really long. And I'm kind of like diverging into two paths. And so let's just focus only on questions and requests and just like get that right. And, and so I just kind of, I just made that decision. And I, I think I was proud of how quickly I came to that decision. And, and so like that was a, that was a, a good moment to to celebrate. But the next moment is like I'm at a point where I have a both a conditional algorithm and a machine learning model that I'm using to run against comments to find questions and requests. And the machine learning model is actually is 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 pretty good. But, you know, every time I look at the results, I, I see some that are like, ah, that should be, that should be a no. Ah, that, that one should be a yes. You know, that kind of thing. And so it feels very easy to get into this mindset of like, I could just endlessly optimize this machine learning model until it's like perfect. But again, recognizing that and then coming back to okay like what's the goal here the goal is just to get like you know 80 percent accurate and have real people using this to validate if this actually solves a real part problem in other people and after that once i get feedback then i can optimize if that's you know if that's what I need to do. But anyway, that is my number two. Continuing to remind yourself of the end goal. Um, and the third one is, I don't know how to label this. I, th I think the third one is, is personal, but it's maybe it can be generalized. And that is, um, to, what would you say, figure out where you're going to eat dinner or lunch 
before you are uh, tired, impatient, you know, post-workout, post-long walk, that kind of state of mind. And I think maybe it can be generalized to like, you know, don't don't make decisions when you're hungry, that, that kind of thing. Or like decisions will take longer when you're hungry. Um, I'll link to the video I did about this. But basically, um, I, went on this, I went on this long podcast walk, listening to podcasts, and took it like, I walked for like an hour, hour 15 or something, and I didn't know where I was going to eat dinner. Like I, I hadn't mapped out, I hadn't figured out what what are the good places in this area. And so after like an hour and 15, I just like ended at a mall and I was like, oh, I'll just, I'll find something, you know? But at this point I was like kind of tired, my legs hurt and you know, feeling a little impatient. And so I went to Five Guys because I thought about going there the, the, the night before. And I've already told this story, like I said, I'll link it. So I'll just give you the, the TLDR so you have the, the context here. But basically, went to Five Guys. I saw that it was like really expensive. Uh, compared to what you what you can get here in Kuala Lumpur, and I was like, ah, it's just not. It's just not really that healthy for you. So I I turned around. I was like in line, and I turned around and I left. And I was like, I, I can find something better. And I walked around like the mall for like 25 minutes, and I was like, getting more impatient and more frustrated that I couldn't just find something. And I ended up back at Five Guys because I was like, this is ridiculous. And <laughs> I told this in the story. I was like, the amount of shame I felt eating that hamburger, <laughs> like it was good, but it was just like, ugh. So that was one of those moments where I was like, eh, let's not do this again. Let's not do this whole like, Oh, I'll find something after I'm tired and frustrated and, and impatient. <laughs> like, I found this healthy food restaurant yesterday at this uh, big shopping mall that's like right next to this hostel. Uh, portions are a little small, but it's really good quality, really good uh, flavor. So, anyway, it's just, there's just so much more there's a lifting of mental energy that happens for me when I just know where I'm going. I know like which restaurant I'm going to eat at beforehand. And like, sure, there's, there's a place for, you know, experimenting and finding the holes in the wall kind of thing. But, um, I don't know, it just saps a lot of energy. And a lot of, I've, I've, this has happened a lot of times where like looking for restaurants while I'm tired or hungry and get to a point where it's just like, you know, paralysis by decision fatigue of like, uh, that one's okay. Or I could go to this one uh, or this one's okay. And it's like, you end up just not picking anything because <laughs> there are just too many decisions. So anyway, that's what I have for you today. Um, build an MVP, uh, remind yourself of the end goal and don't make decisions when you're hungry or find a restaurant before you're hungry. See you tomorrow, bye.